I'm excited to share with you a preview of the, the Tumasoft uh, preset viewer. Um, this is a, a great program. It's, it's a fairly new program out there and so I'm sure a lot of you will be interested in, in seeing uh, what this program can do. I found it to be uh, very user friendly. Um, I learned it quickly and navigated quickly through it. Um, in addition, they have a lot of um, help files and tutorials uh, that were very easy to understand on, on their website here. And uh, I just read through them and um, quickly was able to begin using the program. Um, you can find those uh, tutorials by clicking on the help here and there's a quick start guide and a user guide. First when you start with this program you're going to um, it's going to come up and want you to set a folder um, to uh, do a drive search and every time uh, the program starts it will go to that particular folder and um, do a review uh, to uh, make sure it's including any new files. If you Oops, search folder properties. Um, you can manually go in there to change uh, which folder it uses. Um, when I first started up, I uh, keep all of my files in the um, on the desktop uh, and I work from my laptop and I could not uh, get to the uh, network drive um, when I go to the add new folders. However, uh, John helped me and he showed me that if you right click on my computer and I don't think you can see this now unless I drop down the box, but um, if you right click on my computer and choose map network drive and I'm doing this on Vista but it works the same way in XP, uh, then um, you can uh, set up a uh, map to uh, your network and when you click in here to uh, do a folder here is that Z drive that I created that goes to my um, desktop and he has actually already got that fixed in the next version that's going to be coming out in the next few months so you won't need uh, you won't need that little tip anymore if you um, access your files through a network but um, I have here just a few files that I went ahead and stuck on this uh, laptop and I added uh, where that folder is and and it will uh, scan that immediately every time I open this um, this program. This program not only views, br views brushes uh, but also patterns, swatches, and shapes. And it um, also uh, will install them but it, they don't all install um, well with Photoshop Elements. I'll show you that here in a little bit. That's the other thing that uh, John's going to be working on for us. Um, if you click on brushes, and I'm going to go down to this stitches one that we've been playing with in the other previews of the other programs. If you click on it, uh, it's going to open it up. Up here are um, some tabs. If you click on thumbnails, uh, that's going to be a thumbnail view where you can scroll through and see all the brushes in the thumbnail view that are within that uh, ABR file. If you click on film strip it makes a strip down here and you can use this bar to scroll through and click on them and, and it gives you a much larger preview of what each of the brushes looks like you can also choose a tiled view and what this does is it gives you an idea if you would use this brush um, as pattern across your page uh, what it would um, look like and that is really a handy thing um, I can see uh, creativity being inspired by looking at them in the uh, tiled view 
in the uh, let me go back to the thumbnail view I forgot to share with you something over here then in the thumbnail view is uh, our three icons and this um, will give you uh, larger icons and this will give you smaller icons and then the third one will give you yet smaller icons and so uh, you you can have a variety of ways uh, to uh, view these brushes um, to your preference. Um, the Create Brush Set is really cool and it's not difficult to use at all. Um, uh, there are other options up here to use it but I found this to be so quick and easy. If I were making a uh, new brush set I could um, simply double click on the brushes that I wanted to add to the set. Let's say I wanted to add that one and this one and maybe I might want to go and and get one of these and add it. And now I have um, chosen the brushes that I want to add to my set. If I get one in there that I don't like um, I simply double click out here on on this desktop and it goes away. And then I can add a different one. Um, so you're just uh, clicking and double clicking at the bottom adds it to the set and double clicking out on the desktop takes it away. I mean you can't get more simple than that. I just love it. And then once you've chosen the brushes then you can go to the um, right here. This little button here is for uh, I'm waiting for it to highlight. This I believe exports it as a brush set, a brand new ABR file. So you have um, collected what you want for your new ABR file and then you would um, save it. This one, oh there, here it is, it's highlighting. This says saves set as a brush file and this one says save set as a PNG file. So if you click on this it's going to export it all um, into, into, into individual um, PNG files, whichever ones that you have selected here. And uh, it works very fast and quick. Um, so it's a great way to maybe reorganize the brushes um, that you've created. Uh, we, we learned earlier in one of the earlier tutorials how difficult it is to um, uh, save brush sets in here and how confusing that can be. Um, remember when we were saving these in the other um, in the other video tutorial and so if you've gone in here and just quickly um, saved them one brush at a time and you have a bunch of individual ABR files uh, you can uh, quickly add them all into a set here and save them as a new set and uh, get rid of those individual ABR files that you've made um, just love that idea um, so we've reviewed brushes fairly well. Oh, we haven't reviewed them all the way. Um, there, if you, uh, let's go back to the thumbnail view. If you click on swatches and choose one of your swatches, here's my favorites, and uh, choose a, just double click with the left mouse, um, it's going to change uh, your view to be, um, uh, that color and if you uh, right click on one of them it changes the background color and so uh, you can see what your brushes look like uh, really quickly um, and what they're going to look like in the various colors that you might want to use uh, for your particular kit. Uh, you are you to install the brushes let's back up again if you just double click on them it is um, supposed to install them but when you go over here to Photoshop Elements and you look down here in the default area um, you cannot uh, find those brushes and so um, John is working on uh, making that work if you um, do the same with swatches. Um, just uh, double click on them. They're supposed to install but they do not. However, what is really cool is that the shapes do install. And so for instance I'm um, looking at the this Christmas shape and if I double click on it and I go back to Photoshop Elements and I click on this shape tool and the drop-down menu 
uh, you'll be able to see them down here at the bottom. And also, um, the same with patterns. If you uh, just double click on it, um, you're going to be able to go in here and there's that pattern. It's at the bottom and you can uh, of course resize the pattern and use that pattern and it so the patterns in this version of uh, the preset viewer the patterns and the shapes do install but the brushes and the swatches don't and so um, hopefully in future versions he will get those to work um, when you're working with the patterns what's really cool then is the tiled view so that you could see what the patterns look like when you actually use them and um, one more cool thing with the shapes um, of course you can see what they look like tiled uh, but um, what is also cool with the shapes is that you can create a brush set from them I can go and choose one of these and add that to um, my desktop here and then go here and actually create a brush set with those shapes and then use them as a brush rather than use them as a shape file and so that is a really cool feature that we have here with this program and so uh, let's see one more thing this program does so much um, if I let's go back to the brushes if I um, choose a brush and I double click right click on it sorry right click on it um, it's going to come up with this image properties and I can add keywords such as uh, stitches well it's trying to add a keyword I already had if I, I can add stitches to it and um, I'm going to right click on this one and it's already got that in there then when I go to keywords if I want to find um, everything with that keyword I'm just going to double click on it and um, it's going to be able to find those for me uh, you can see I added some while playing that said St. Patrick's when I played the first time uh, this can be very useful if you have uh, brushes that are aren't named appropriately these um, action FX ones are named well um, you see there's some that are snow and splats but if uh, you have some that are, are just some weird names uh, you can assign like the keywords for grunge or other things like that to them and quickly find your brushes um, you could even do a keyword category possibly for um, favorites and put all your favorites in into that category to quickly find them uh, and if they installed that would be even better and so uh, that's a, a great feature of this program and so I hope you've enjoyed this preview and um, I really recommend going out and getting this program even though it doesn't install those brushes I can always uh, navigate uh, where I want to go and uh, load the brushes after I uh, find them and if you have any questions certainly ask in the forum if you have any suggestions for improvements um, John is continually uh, upgrading this program and trying to make it better this is one of the first versions and uh, we look forward to seeing what else he has to, to come with this program